New study released by economists at Princeton University on the age-old question, can science and religion coexist? Now, what's fascinating about this is that among liberals and conservatives, there's no consistent sides. So, like, a lot of liberals say, yes, science and religion can coexist, because they like the idea of not only multiculturalism, but multi-ethnicities and multi-religions, too. So, plenty of liberals say that, but also a lot of liberals and progressives say no. Science and religion can't coexist because science is correct, and religion is made up bullshit. But then also on the conservative side, you have a, a lot of them that say science and religion can coexist because they want to believe in, like, you know, uh, modern medicine, but also believe in Jesus. And then there's also some of them that say, no, it can't coexist, but that's because religion overrides science. Those are the retarded people. Excuse my language for using the R word. But the people who say, well, the world is 6,000 years old, I don't care that the science says it's 4.54 billion years old. So we're all over the map here. So what were the findings of the study? Quote, places with higher levels of religiosity have lower rates of scientific and technological innovation as measured by patents per capita. So the more religious a place is, the more they suck at science. That's what that means in layman's terms. They say, quote, using data from the World Intellectual Property Organization and the World Values Survey, more religious countries had fewer patents. Other factors, such as wealth and education, can influence the number of patents per capita, but the researchers found the same results even after they controlled for a number of other variables, such as population, foreign investment, and intellectual property protections. So, in other words, that's really, really fascinating. So, what they're saying is, even if you take a lower income, um, non-religious country, they'll do better with innovation than a higher income religious country. So, whoa. So, there's a, a strong connection here. Now, here are the specifics. Quote, Japan and China stood out as highly secular, highly innovative countries, while Portugal, Morocco, and Iran were found at the other extreme. The authors applied a similar analysis to the 50 United States using data from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and religion questions from a 2008 Pew survey. And Vermont and Oregon were found to be highly innovative and not very religious, while innovation lags in highly religious states such as Arkansas and Mississippi. Yeah, I might just have to file this one under the University of No Shit. Because, come on, I mean, we can try to be as kind and sugarcoat it as we can to the people that disagree, but progressive, liberal, non-religious, science-loving places are going to do better because those things are more rational, they're more logical, so you're going to set up a system that makes more sense. They also say the findings are held true everywhere, that... Uh, the more religious a state is, the less scientific and innovative it will be. And again, just my own addition to this is, I don't think it's just religion versus science, I also think it's liberal versus conservative. The, usually, usually state-wise, because again, individuals, they're all over the place. Some believe science and religion can coexist, some say no. But I'm saying at the state level, okay, if your state, if your government is more uh, progressive, and they believe in science, okay, then overall the system is going to be better. Um, the only caveat I should add is that this has not yet been peer-reviewed. So the, the information is fairly new, but it is from economists at Princeton University. So if you'd like to, you could take it with a grain of salt. If not, not. Whatever. But again, I think this is rather obvious, university of no shit, that mm, religion can't really coexist with science because science is right, and religion is made up bullshit.